Hello friends, it's Shara and welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. As you can see, I have gorgeous Kai here. Oh, he's so sweet. He looks so cute in this Peter Rabbit outfit, but it is time for him to get a change and for me to give his hair a little spritz of conditioner. So let's get him changed. We are going to do Twinning Tuesday with my dear friend, Betty from Betty's Loving Nursery. You should all go check her out. She is a lovely, lovely person. We have become very good friends. We chat almost every day. I cannot wait until we can meet each other in person. She's in Canada and I'm in San Diego, California, but we plan to meet up very soon, as soon as we can. So I am going to dress this cutie in this green dinosaur sleeper. It's one of Betty's favorite fabrics. It's ribbed. And I sent her one of these for her sweet Elijah kit. And to tell you the truth, I think she settled on the name Elijah Max for him. Um, her husband is very picky about names and he didn't want any of the names that we were suggesting for him. Um, she did stick with Max because she named him after my sweet, sweet Max who we lost um, a couple months ago and so she was so sweet to pay tribute to him and um, so his middle name is Max but I think he's finally got the name Elijah which is so cute. Um, so we are going to twin our boys up in this cute sleeper that I knew she would love. I don't know if she's too keen on dinosaurs but she definitely loves ribbed fabric. So I knew this would be a winner. So we're going to get this guy changed. Yes, we are. This outfit is so precious on him, but I guess we have to change them every so often. I mean, I love doing it, but I see certain outfits and I'm like, oh no, you can stay with that outfit forever. He is such a sweetie. I love him so much. He has the greatest hair. He was um, reborn by Wendy of Weeby Dolls. She is amazing. And he is just perfect. He reminds me so much of my grandsons. She did a fabulous job. I adore him and I love him with Kaya, my little Delilah kit. They look precious together. They are nearly the same size and a lot um, alike in their limbs. And um, I just love to see them together. Can you say hi to all your aunties and uncles? Can you? Okay, friends, so you may call me a big chicken, but I have decided after much contemplating and discussion with my sister, I even bought a brace that simulated a cast to see how well I did. And I have decided to postpone my surgery, I called the surgery center today and I am going to try to do it when my sister is off for her holiday break. She has like a whole three weeks off and I am going to go stay with her. I think that would just be the best. I. I don't want to burden my son with some very uncomfortable 
um, positions that I might be in. I don't want to get too graphic, but um, it would just be better if I can go and stay with my sister. My mom will be nearby, um, so she would be able to help. Um, and I think I'll be able to do a lot, but it would just be nice um, to have someone that wouldn't be so uncomfortable doing certain things if I'm not able to do them. So I just think it's better for everyone, mostly me. <laughs> and it came up really quick. I didn't expect the surgeon to, to, to get a spot open in such a short time and I just hadn't really been able to think about it. Um, I didn't change his diaper. He has a fresh diaper on, so I didn't change it. So yeah, I have decided to <laughs> postpone because, well, yeah. All right, let's clip your passy back on, buddy. I think we can do it right here. I like that. I like it right there. There you go. And now it shouldn't pull it out. I do sometimes not like when they go crooked. It makes me mad. Oh, that might not work because it's going to hit the passy. Okay, well, it can just hang here because I don't really like them to wear it anyway. Oh, look how cute. It fits him perfect. This is, of course, a preemie size. He can wear newborn, but even preemie is a little baggy, so it's actually very perfect. <laughs> look at that wild hair. Yes, you've got some wild hair. Yes, you do. All right, we're going to sit you up. We're gonna sit you up like a big boy. Yeah, mama's gonna sit you up. We're just gonna give your hair a little condition. I know they say you're not supposed to um, spray it right on their hair, on their head, but I don't really like to brush his hair too much, but I'll just wet the brush with the conditioner. I haven't conditioned his hair for a little while, so I like to keep it from getting dry. His hair is so soft and so beautiful. I don't want anything to happen to it. Wendy did such a beautiful job. Plus this mohair conditioner that I got from Bountiful Baby, which I need to order some more. Smells divine. I love the way it makes the baby smell. Oh my goodness, it's perfect. All right, now we'll just put a couple of sprays of water. And we'll give your hair a little squish, a little squish. There we go, look at you. You're so handsome. Look at that baby boy, yeah. You're so handsome. There you go, nice and fresh. You're so cute. I love this little guy. I love all my little guys and my little gals and my big gals. But I have decided to make some changes in the nursery and just sort of, um, downsize a little bit. I am feeling a little overwhelmed and um, I'm really, really trying to not purchase any more babies. I do have some in the works or in, you know, already bought, but um, 
I really need to, uh, to back off now. Um, you know, it's expensive. It definitely is expensive. And I am anticipating that, um, I will be able to start traveling soon and I need to make sure that I haven't, you know, depleted everything <laughs> so that I can still travel as soon as it's um, available. So, I mean, I do have a plane ticket actually to New Zealand already paid for. I was supposed to go in July of 2020 and the, the ticket was um, held because all the flights were canceled. So I have a plane ticket, so that's good. <laughs> but, you know, I do need to, um, you know, back off on the spending a little bit and focus on playing and loving my babies. It does feel good to buy. And it is... Um, I don't want to say it's an addiction because I'm not um, in debt or um, it's not detrimental to my family or my well-being, but it definitely is um, something that I do to make myself feel better. And it's, um, yes, these babies make me feel better, but I still have moments of of sadness, lots of moments of sadness, and those aren't going to go away no matter how many box openings I do. And if I'm just buying babies for the thrill and the um, distraction, then I have babies that I don't interact with. And um, it's just not, it's just not working out for me that way. I really do love some of these dolls so much and I feel like I get overwhelmed and don't know who to um, film or um, photograph or um, play with. So I am, you know, trying this um, approach. I'm not selling anybody that, uh, that I just, you know, am like, no, I can't. I'm not, I'm not there. I'm not, um, you know, there's still many dolls that I say I can never part with. And, um, but I will be um, posting pictures on Instagram of some more that I have decided to part with. Um, uh, I do hold on to some for sentimental reasons. And those I probably will never sell. Um, and then there's just some that I just absolutely love. Everything about them. Um, and they won't sell but then there's some that even though I love them and I think they photograph well and they're painted well they're just not go-to dolls so those will be um, listed so if you want to get in touch with me on Instagram or on my email all of that information will be in the description and thank you so much for coming by for this little quick twinning Tuesday with his brother over at Betty's Loving Nursery. His brother Elijah is going to wear the same outfit and I'll make sure I leave a link to Betty's Loving Nursery in the description and you need to check her out. She's an absolutely fantastic lady. She has a beautiful collection of dolls and she has one in particular she is her Evita, and she is the Adele, and she is incredible. And so she is a lot of fun. She and her husband do a lot with their dolls, and so you should head on over to Betty's Lovey Nursery, and then you can see his brother, and the reason I can call him his brother is because her Elijah Max used to be in my uh, collection. And so he is really Kai's brother. And you should go check him out. And Evita and Betty. Just a wonderful woman and a lot of fun with her dolls. So I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their day. 
As always, friends, we are sending you wishes of love and light, and we will see you in the next video. Bye, friends. Bye, aunties. Bye, uncles. Mwah. Mwah. Aren't I cute? Aren't I so cute in my dinosaur jammies? All right, guys. Bye-bye.